Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the torque equation of the DC motor part 3. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem. A 4 pole 240 voltage wave connected shunt motor gives 11.19 kilowatt when running at 1000 rpm and drawing armature and field current of 50 ampere and 1 ampere respectively. So this problem coming under the shunt motor. It has 540 conductors. It resistance is 0.1 ohm. Assume drop of 1 voltage per brush. Find the first one is total torque, useful torque, useful flux per pole and efficiency. These four parameters we need to find. Now we will analyze the given data. What are the data given? The number of pole is given. P equal to 4. The terminal voltage is 240 voltage. The power is given. Output power 11.19 kilowatt. Kilowatt means is multiplied by 10 to the power 3. 11.19 into 10 to the power 3 watts. The speed is 1000 rpm. Armature current is 50 ampere. Shunt field current is 1 ampere. And number of conductor is 540. The resistance of the armature RA is 0.1 ohm. IL equal to IA plus ISH because of shunt motor, the armature, field coil and load are connected in parallel. So that the load current is nothing but armature sum of armature current and shunt field current 50 plus 1 51 ampere voltage drop per brush is given as 1 voltage there are two brushes available so the total brush drop is equal to 2 voltage now we'll go to the total torque or armature torque the first one we need to find the total torque or armature torque torque developed in the armature is called a total torque the formula is T A equal to 9.55 E B I A divided by N. Back M of into armature current divided by the speed of the motor. Here I A value is already available, speed is available, but E B value not given. So we need to find the E B value, back M of. Back M of equal to V minus I A R A minus brush drop. It's a basic equation of the motor. So, V is given as 240 voltage and then IA is 50 ampere, RA is 0 0.1 minus brush drop is 2 voltage. So, by simplifying this we got 233 voltage, back EMF is 233 voltage. Now, using this back EMF we can able to find the armature torque 9.55 into EB into IA divided by N. So that is equal to 9.55 into the back M of is 233 into armature current is 50 ampere divided by speed is 1000 rpm. So by simplifying this what we got 111.24 Newton meter. The unit for the torque is Newton meter 111.24 Newton meter. Now we will see the useful torque or the shaft torque. The torque developed in the armature some losses will be there, the remaining will be av available as a useful torque or a shaft torque, some after some losses. So the shaft torque, the formula is 9.55 into output divided by N, output divided by speed of the motor. So 9.55 into the output is given as 11 kilowatt, so 11.19 kilowatt, so 11.19 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 1000, speed is 1000. So by simplifying this what we got 106.85 Newton meter. See this the torque available the shaft is less than the torque developed in the armature. This is the torque developed inside the motor armature. After some friction and vintage losses remaining available at the shaft which is lesser, this value is lesser. Now we will go to the third parameter useful flux per pole. The flux can be calculated from this. 
we'll see the back m of eb is p pi n divided by 60 into z by a this is the formula for back m of in terms of flux and the pole number of conductors speed everything from that we can able to find the by rearranging we can able to find the expression for flux this 60 and a is multiplied here e b into 60 into a this p n z is multiplied in the denominator so that we can able to find the expression for pi e b into 60 into a divided by p n z now we'll substitute the value the back m of just now we calculated it is 233 back m of is 233 into 60 into the number of parallel path equal to 2 because it is given as here the number of parallel path is given as this wave connected this winding is wave connected so the number of parallel path equal to 2 divided by number of pole equal to 4 then speed of the motor is 1000 rpm and number of conductor is 540 so my by multiplying by uh, simplifying this expression what we got 12.9 into 10 to the power minus 3 weber the unit for the flux is weber so this 10 to the power minus 3 can be written as milli weber 12.9 milli weber the flux the useful flux in the per pole is 12.5 milli weber now finally we need to find the efficiency efficiency of the motor so the efficiency is nothing but output divided by input into 100 the output power already available 11.19 kilowatt 9 11.19 into 10 to the power 3 but the input power we need to find so the input power is nothing but terminal voltage into load current v into il v into il will give the input power so the v is given 240 the il is 51 so that 1200 and 12240 watts the power applied input given to the motor is 12240 watts so by using that we can able to find the efficiency output divided by input output is into 100 output is 11.19 kilowatt 11.19 into 10 to the power 3 divided by the input power just now we calculated 12000 240 watts into 100 so by multiplying this what we got 91.42 percentage right the efficiency of the motor is 91.42 percentage so this problem is based on the shunt motor based on the given data we calculated the torque developed in the armature this is called a total torque after some losses the torque available in the shaft this is called a useful torque that also we calculated then useful flux per pole then finally we calculated the efficiency of the shunt motor subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening